Hi, today we're gonna talk about back trolls and um, a particular application uh, of a back troll on a Vine Bridge oscillator, which is a very clean sine wave oscillator. But let's start from, from the beginning. What is a back troll? A vectroll is basically a resistor controlled by a voltage. How does it work? It's an optical coupling. That's the basic structure of a vectroll is like this. On one side we have uh, an LED, a light emitting diode, that emits light. You, you apply uh, a voltage here and you turn on the, the LED to various intensities and on the other side you have a, a light sensitive resistor which is a resistor that uh, changes its value depending on uh, how much light it's, uh, it's applied to, to its sensor. For example uh, this is uh, a light sensitive resistor we can see if I turn on my tester here You see like that I have a reading of 1.8 kilo ohm but if I move the resistor closer to the light it drops to almost zero. If I go down I can see it as kind of a baseline of uh, around 70 ohm but if it goes to co into complete darkness. It can go. It can be resistive more than two mega ohms, which is the upper limit of my tester. And again, if light comes, here we go. And this is the basic element that is uh, used in uh, light theremins, which are basically theremin which work with light, so you can move your hand. Uh, closer or farther from the from a light sensing resistor and you are basically blocking light more or less light uh, coming to a resistor and that changes the pitch of an oscillator uh, the very interesting thing about the VM bridge oscillator which is uh, this one and this produces a very very clean uh, sine wave as an output which is not very common in uh, DIY oscillators and not always easy. And one big uh, uh, problem about this oscillator is that it needs uh, two potentiometers that must move uh, at the same time, meaning that if this potentiometer is uh, on its maximum, this other one must be on its maximum as well. And this is usually achieved by a special potentiometer, which is basically two potentiometers stacked on top of the other, with a total of six terminals. But uh, they are not uh, very easy to find and also quite expensive. And in the end you only end up with a knob to, to control the frequency of, of your oscillator. But what if, for example, we build a vectral which has one LED on one side, so you can apply only one control voltage, but two light sensitive resistors on the other side. Here you, you can control with only one voltage, two potentiometers. Uh, controlling the voltage uh, that goes to this LED will be like turning two potentiometers at the same time, and not only. You will also be able to apply control voltage to the LED, and move it uh, accordingly to, to it. And today I'm going to use this uh, very nice material, it's called uh, Fimo, it's a brand name by Stadler, but there are also other versions. It's not very cheap, it's like this package in a retail shop, it costs about uh, 3 euros, but I'm sure online you can find for much, much cheaper. And it's basically, uh, like a plaster material and you can uh, model as you want uh, with, with your ends 
and uh, then you can put it in the oven at uh, 110 degrees for uh, 30 minutes and it becomes solid plastic, a really very solid plastic, it's a great material. So basically what I did is to, to place my components on a breadboard uh, across the, the central groove and, and I bent the, their lids so that they fit exactly uh, as uh, six pins uh, in integrated circuits would. So I, I have the, the lids uh, perfectly bent in this shape and I have the two photoresistors uh, facing the LED in the exact same way so they will be affected in the same way by, by the light. And um, I have uh, this small cube of uh, FIMO which is more or less the, the size of an integrated circuit. So I'm going to cut it in half. Here I have two halves. I can place the, the LED first. Making sure that it's well in, in the center of the um, of my FEMO block so that all the light will not go outside. Then I place my two resistors so I can see everything is perfectly aligned and I can add the, the top part of my integrated circuit case. Of course be sure that to, to seal all the holes, something like that. So I preheated my oven at uh, 100 degrees so that I am sure that the component will stay in the oven the less time possible. Okay, I'm going to put my little creature in the oven on a some baking paper and it will stay here for 20 minutes the label says 30 minutes but as the piece is very small the heat will not take so much time to to go inside and so this is basically the the vectoral uh, connected uh, in the circuit of the Vim bridge oscillator this potentiometer uh, controls the distortion of the wave, we don't talk about it now. And this, don't consider it, it's disconnected at the moment, then we uh, will use it. And basically everything is uh, set up and uh, with those two cables I am closing the circuit, I am uh, lighting up the LED which is inside the Vectral with this 9 volt battery uh, which is actually a 6.4 volt battery, uh, it's an old battery, I always keep them and write the correct voltage and always comes in handy. So now the, the resistance is uh, very high because without light uh, we saw that it was uh, more than 2 mega ohms so it's emitting no sound at the moment but I am lighting up the LED and the pitch in this moment is uh, as high as it can be with the 6.4 volts uh, applied to the LED. When I kept out, it drops very slowly. It's still dropping and dropping. It will drop until we don't hear anything. This is a very low frequency. I'm just clicking and it's silence. It's actually oscillating but uh, at a such uh, low frequency that we cannot hear it or maybe not even oscillating because it's too high the resistance see it again so just to make an example let's uh, 
let's say we, we create a control voltage because here is a fixed voltage so uh, now I'm going to use this uh, potentiometer I am putting one pole here and my plus battery pole here so I am controlling with this uh, potentiometer how much voltage I am sending to the vectral to the LED as you can hear is not immediately responsive if it takes a bit of time it's very fluid it's a character you can actually like and that's why I built this thing and of course instead of the potentiometer there can be a, just an external uh, an external control voltage and this is the potentiometer that controls the distortion of the wave as I was telling you before and let's have a shot at it in the circuit changes the, the whole game and well that is basically it if you like the video give me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video